Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. Today's clip is a test of the return to home function for the Mavic Mini. I've got it set up over there on a landing mat. I've set the home point. What I'll do is put it up in the air, send it downfield a couple hundred feet. I've set the return to home height at 60 feet because I want to be able to try and keep it in the frame of the camera. But my suggestion is when you get your Mavic Mini, the first thing you want to do is go into the settings and set that return to home height at at least 200 or 300 feet so it's well above any obstacle on the way home in case it has to do an automated return to home. But at any rate, I'm going to send it downfield. I'm going to hit the return to home key and we'll see how close it comes to landing right on that mat. Now my suspicion, and I haven't tested this yet, but my suspicion is because there's no sufficient sophisticated camera on the bottom, it'll probably come pretty close to the mat and in the last couple of feet I'll have to make some adjustments to get it on the mat. It does have a VIO sensor on the bottom which is sort of an optical indicator of where it is but I don't think that's sophisticated enough to actually position it right back on the H for the mat but who knows we'll test it a couple of times and let's see how it goes so stay tuned. Okay we're ready to go. I've got the Mavic Mini powered up it's on the mat right in the center of the mat. The home point's been set I have plenty of satellites so we know the GPS coordinates are going to be right on the money and I've set the return to home height at 60 feet. Now you're going to want to set yours way higher than that, maybe 200 or 250 feet because you need it to clear any obstacle in the area where you're flying. So for example here, those trees down the far end of the field, if I left it at 60 feet and a return to home event triggered, it would smack right into one of those trees because it's got no obstacle avoidance. So always set your return to home height 200, 300 feet up so you're sure that it'll clear anything on the way back home. So I'm going to launch this manually with the controller and I'm going to have it hover over the mat, maybe eight feet above it for a second because I want to give the VIO cameras a second to take a picture of the area below it. Now I don't think they're going to play a role in the return to home. I don't think it's a precision return to home, but I want to give them a chance to at least take that picture in case they're making the finer adjustments when it gets close. My suspicion is that it's completely a GPS operation, so GPS is a bit sloppy. So if it comes back and it lands right where it took off, we'll know the VIO cameras played a role. If it doesn't, we're just going to say the GPS is what gets it back home. All right, so let me spin them up. Good to go. I'll just put it up for a little bit. Now that's interesting, it actually reset the home point. So I'm not sure if that's the GPS or the VIO taking that picture saying, hey, I've got a better idea of where you took off. Pretty cool. All right, so let's send it downfield. I'll take it up to like 30 feet and send it downfield about 200 feet just to give us a good test. Obviously you can send it as far as you want, but I wanna try and keep it in the frame. All right, so that's right about 200 feet. And now I'm going to hit the return to home key, and that's the key up here on the left on the controller. And when I hold that, you'll hit it and hold it, you'll hear it start beeping. That means we're going to have a return to home. So what's happening right now is the drone is rising up exactly 60 feet. It stopped. It's now spinning around, heading back towards the home point, and sitting there for a second. And now it's heading back. And man, is that thing moving. Okay, so it's coming back really quick, which is a good thing. That's exactly what you want if you have low batteries. You want to get back as quick as you can. All right, so now it's over top of us and it's slowed down. Now it's stopped and it looks, it's hard to tell with this perspective, but it looks like it's right over the mat and it's kind of making some minor adjustments this way. It's still facing the same exact direction, but now it's stopped moving and it's starting to descend. And it looks pretty close to the mat. I can't really tell. Let's see when it gets a little closer. All right. That's going to be a little bit behind it, but man, is that close? Man, is that close? All right, so it doesn't, it's stopping for a second. It's looking, it's thinking. <laughs> this is so close. I don't know, man. That, that's, to me, that's on the mat. So, whew. all right, so it did land exactly where it took off, but it landed within a couple of inches of it. Now, I'm going to do this a half a dozen more times just to see if I was lucky on that first one, but for my money, that's perfect because with return to home, I care less that it lands on the, exactly on a quarter that it took off. I care that it gets back to the general area where it took off because heaven forbid something terrible happens with the controller or the batteries go bad or I lose connection, whatever it happens to be. I want the drone to at least come back and descend to close to where I'm standing so that if I do regain control of it, I can land it manually. Or if I have to hand catch it, I can run over in the field and grab it with my hand and catch it that way. And for me, that return to home was fantastic. And again, I don't know if it's precision yet. I'm going to test it a few more times, but I just think that's tremendous. And again, it's such a small drone to have this level of technology built into it just blows my mind. So that's pretty much it for today. I hope you find value in these clips. I love putting them together. This came from a couple of subscribers asking about return to home and was it precision return to home or just general. To me, uh, <laughs> that's as close as precision as you can get. But again, I'll run it a couple more times and we'll see. And um, I've got a bunch more clips coming on the Mavic Mini and a bunch of other technology, a bunch of drones that are going to be uh, reviewing compared to the Mavic Mini, all the stuff you guys care about. So if you haven't subbed the channel, hit that sub subscribe button down there and join the Drone Valley family because we have a lot of stuff coming and we really appreciate the feedback. So if you have questions on anything I've covered today, drop them in the comments below. And until next time, 
Happy flying.